everyone, live it like Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. And this is the second video in my healthy habits series. I've just completed week one. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on how my first week went and what I'm planning to do for week two. So for week one, the three habits that I was trying to improve on was to drink more water, to add some incidental exercise to my day and to also treat myself to something nice whether it be like a pamper bath or paint your nails or something like that. and then the prep for this week was to come up with five different breakfast meals that um, are quick and easy to prepare and because I am sort of trying to steer my eating towards a lower carb type eating I picked breakfast meals that were lower in carbs so as far as drinking my water went I actually did quite well there were some days where I didn't quite meet my three liters a day which I'm trying to aim for but uh, definitely while I was at work I, I was drinking my water regularly it's when I get home that I tend to not drink it as much so yeah I've got to sort of work on that while I'm actually at home to, to still continue to drink my, my water. Uh, so that's something I'll be working on again this week. And as far as incidental exercise goes, I did end up using the stairs every single day this week. Every time I needed to go up and down from my office, I did use the stairs. So that was definitely a killer. And I'll insert a little bit of footage here of <laughs> of one of the trips when I was going up and down the stairs. So I, I don't know if you guys have been following along as far as like adding those little 10, 10 squats each, each toilet break. But um, I tell you what, the second day my legs were killing. It was, it was to the stage where I was actually scared to go to the toilet because I knew I had to do 10 more squats when I got there and my legs were just so sore. Oh my God. So yeah, they, well, I mean, they've definitely been working for me as, as like working as far as I can feel it in my muscles. Like I can actually feel all my um, thigh muscles and everything when I'm doing them. So yeah. And the other thing with that is again, it's when I get home, I actually forget to do them when I'm at home. Like when I'm at work, it's fine. I don't know why. It seems that, yeah, I just remember each time, each toilet break, I do my 10 squats, no problem. But then when I get home, I seem to forget. So what I might actually do is sort of wear a little band or something around my wrist so that it reminds me every time I'm in there to, yeah, get my 10 squats in. But um, yeah, I don't know about you guys. I definitely have been feeling it in my legs and <laughs> to the point where I was trying to, I mean, I, I was going to the toilet quite a bit while we're drinking so much water. It was pretty much as soon as I drank a glass of water, 15 minutes later, that glass of water needed to come out again. So, yeah, I was probably going to the toilet like three times an hour and um, I got quite a few squats in that first day. So I definitely felt it. <laughs> and as far as the pamper um habit goes uh this week i went with having my eyebrows waxed i actually took my daughter me and my daughter went uh last weekend i think it was she got her eyebrows waxed and eyelashes tinted and i just got my eyebrows waxed so i've done that for this week and i probably as soon as i finish filming this video i'm probably going to put a little bit of polish on my nails so that's just something that i've um I'm doing this week. The eating, like I said, I wasn't concentrating on any of the eating side this week, so we still ended up having KFC one night, and yeah, none of the meals were healthy as such. It was just whatever we were having on the day. So, but this week now, I've actually prepared some breakfast meals, and I've probably prepared enough for a couple of weeks worth of breakfast meals, and I've actually cooked them all and prepared them all today. And then I've put them in the freezer so that I can just sort of grab and go because I don't have time to make breakfast before I go to work. I mean, I would if I got up earlier, but I'm not really inclined to do that <laughs> at this stage. So yeah, I'm just going to freeze them and just grab them and have them when I get to work. So I'll insert some footage of the f breakfast meals that I've come up with. Okay, guys, so here's some items I bought for my five breakfast meals well actually I'm probably going to be making seven out of this because what I'm planning to do is actually pre-make 
all my breakfast meals for this week and that way I can sort of just freeze them and then just grab them out each day and it's it's already done and I can just take it to work with me so what I've bought and th this is all pretty low carb I mean obviously all the vegetables will have a few carbs in them but what I've got is some mushrooms butter eggs avocado tomato kale asparagus some spring onion smoked salmon and bacon so i'm basically just going to make some omelets up some scrambled egg meals pr pretty much all egg based meals so omelets frittatas breakfast muffins so yeah i'm just going to make a few meals up with all of this and freeze it okay so what i'm doing here i'm just making a couple of breakfast muffins so i've just got like a oh, cupcake tin and I've just lined the bottom with a piece of bacon. So I've got a mixture of like kale, shallots and some like baby spinach and things like that is in there as well. And I've just cooked this, the greens in a little bit of coconut oil. And then I've got some Danish feta. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in each one as well. So these would be good just to have even as a snack I think. I hope they taste good and I got all like I got some of these recipes just off the internet if you just type in like keto breakfast so much comes up and I like these because I can then freeze them and just have them sitting there when I need them then I've got my egg mixture I've got a dozen eggs in here so hopefully I can do this without making a mess work out to be one egg per muff like per actual little muffin if I use this whole mixture so that will actually be a good serving size I think so yeah now we just I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of tasty cheese on top so just regular shredded tasty cheese just a little bit to help it sort of bind and then we'll just bake this in the oven for a couple of minutes well I think for a little while until all the eggs are set basically I'm not sure how long it takes I should look it up so that I'll pop in the oven okay, now so here's what I've come up with I've probably got a couple of weeks worth of breakfast meals here that I can pop in the freezer and then just grab and go so these first two bowls here we've just got some scrambled eggs a bit of smoked salmon and some asparagus and shallots fried up in a little bit of coconut oil so that's two meals there then in these four containers here I've just done a omelette that I have a little bit of fried kale and baby spinach as well as some chopped up bacon. Uh, that's to make up the omelette. And then I've just put in there some fried tomato, a little bit of Danish feta cheese and a couple of stalks of asparagus. So I've got four, four meals prepared out of that omelette. Plus I've got uh, four baggies worth of serving sized omelette as well to freeze. Here I've got some crispy bacon chips that I um, can just sort of have as a snack. And then here that's just some more bacon that we've cooked up and I'm just going to freeze that for when we need it. And then here are the little egg muffins. So they were the ones that I prepared earlier and they turned out quite nice so I'm going to freeze those and I've bagged them in lots of two so I thought worth it each one's got one egg so that's roughly a two egg two egg meal there so I've got enough there to freeze for a little while and then I've got my tomatoes and avocado that I'll just take on the day probably with um, one of these muffins and either slice up a quarter of an avocado and a bit of tomato with it as well so yeah that's my breakfast meal prep for the next couple of weeks so for this week i'm not actually going to weigh myself now until after week four because after week four is when i should have got all my eating as far as breakfast lunch and dinner following the low carb so i just wanted to weigh myself at the very beginning to say hey this is what i'm starting with and then i'm going to weigh myself again at the beginning of week five because that's when I should sort of start to see 
a bit more drop in the kilos as such because I'll be doing all my meals should be low carb by then and I should be having enough exercise in my day for it to actually make a difference. So I don't want to sort of step on the scales each week now when I'm only sort of doing parts of it and then get discouraged if I haven't lost weight or haven't lost what enough or what I thought I should have lost. So yeah, I'm not going to really worry too much about the scales and I think I might then just weigh myself monthly anyway yeah I just don't want to focus on that number because I know if I don't lose weight one week I'll be like oh yeah what's the point you know and just chuck it all in so for this week my three habits that I'll be breaking as well as doing week one habits I'm still going to be continuing those and now I'm adding three new ones for this week so the three habits that I'll be adding this week are to eat those low carb breakfast meals that I've prepared. My second habit that I'll be adding this week is adding a walk at lunchtime. So I'm going to try and aim for say three days this week. So probably Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm going to add a half hour walk during my lunch break. As well as doing my incidental exercise, you know, going up and down the stairs and doing my squats in the in the toilet and then for my pamper habit this week well I've actually got down eyebrows and eyelashes but because I did that last week I might actually put my pamper bath into that one because I didn't end up having my um, big bubble bath this week so I might actually add that for this week's um, and then for prep for next week is to then come up with five lunch meals to look at preparing for the following week so that's prep for next week so yeah that's pretty much all I have as far as an update yeah that pretty much wraps it up for week two and I will hopefully see you guys next week so let me know in the comments below if you have been following in the, the same sort of breaking the habits that I've been doing and let me know how you went in your week thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video Thank you.